Well, hello there. My name is Shahara Wooten and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Money Decision Show. I'm so glad that you joined us and that you continue to join in. So today I'm going to talk, give you a cash flow management idea and it's something that we've done in the past or we may have heard of, but it's the envelope system. And I did not write on my envelopes because I am planning to use these for other things. But you take these envelopes and it helps you to save money. So the classic system is that you write gas on one envelope. You take and you put, and I'm talking about gasoline. <laughs> and then you can also put groceries on one, dining out, movies. Now we can just do a whole envelope called Amazon. <laughs> But, you know, a lot of us don't like to use cash. And with it being in the crisis and the, the unprecedented times that we're in, people are ever so aware that cash carries germs. So a lot of people just don't want to use cash all the time. Now, I have an idea that has come to me and it came to me a few years ago, but now it just seems like it's something we, we should really talk about. And it's the digital envelope system concept. And I think it's really important because I think it can help you help build your budget. So the concept of the envelope system or the envelope method to help control your, your budgetary needs and to really put some guardrails on your spending is that you take each one of these envelopes and all those categories that I just mentioned, when you do your budget, then you put that dollar amount for your gas, for your for your fuel, uh, for everything that you, you need, you put it in each one of these envelopes. They represent a category. You only spend the money in those envelopes for that category. Hopefully you have some money left at the end of that time frame. But if you the goal is that when you do exhaust all the funds in that envelope, you can't spend money in that particular category. So it's really important to know your budget and to know how much you should put in that category. So my recommendation and advice that I would give, especially for those of you who don't like to use cash or you just, it just hasn't worked for you. You tried it in one, it didn't work, is to wherever you go grocery shopping, wherever you go, um, you know, wherever you go and get your gas and even for your online shopping, buy a gift card or you can buy even a reloadable gift card potentially, but buy a gift card for the dollar amount that you need. Load that cash onto that you would have put in that envelope for that category, load it onto that card. And that particular card will be what you're going to use for that category. So I would love for you to try it out, see what you think about it. And I think it can also just curb that online shopping spending that you do. You only spend the money that's in the envelope on the on, for online shopping. A lot of people are talking about, they're just loving getting their packages. They're, I mean, Amazon's coming to their door every day. And I think that we've got to figure out how we can get that under control. We want to be in a better financial position coming out of this. And I think that this is a strategy that can help. So please let me know what you think about that. Is that something that you're willing to try? Have you already tried it? And how did it work for you? Do you use the old system? Are you still paying for things with cash? How are you doing that? How are you making that work? Or are you just using your credit cards or using um, your debit card to pay for these items and you still find yourself wondering where did my money go so I'd love to hear you comment below and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are because I think that it can definitely be a great way for you to put some guardrails on your whole financial situation and come out better than we were before please take a moment to 
look at the description because I do have an ebook that covers a lot of different topics regarding financial wellness and just crafting your amazing financial success story. So just look at the description box below to download your free ebook guide. Thank you.